What is happening guys? Welcome back. We're back in the workshop, ready to get on with a few more bits on the T5. And in the last one, we've got the front seats fitted in the van, the Mark 6 Golf GTD seats fitted with, um, on the swivel bases, on the rusty leaf swivel bases. And I mentioned in it that we we're gonna be doing something else. This isn't this video, but I've got a couple of other bits I've gotta sort out. What we're gonna be doing to those Mark 6 Golf seats is fitting T5 armrests to both of them. Um, did it on my Mark 5 GTI seats, I can't even remember, seven years ago, something like that. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing in possibly the next episode. But in this episode, we've got something that we've had since we went to Transport HQ very at the very beginning of the project and we've never got around to sorting out. And that is, we're gonna hinge this panel. So to hinge that little panel, or the reason for hinging that panel is we're gonna be putting the 240 volt electric hookup in there so it's all nice neat out of the way you've not got any unsightly uh holes or cutouts or flaps or anything down the side of the van it will look nice now a lot of people have done these over the years and the majority of them of the diy ones have not really been the best and so so uh transport hq sell this the va hidden door for the near side and it is a 3d printed hinge system so this all comes separate i've just started building this up but you've got this piece that bolts to the van these are essentially the hinges this piece mounts to this which then in turn mounts to this which also in turn mounts onto the standard panel that is on the van so you've not got to paint anything this is the magnet that keeps it closed and you've got all of your fixings and a few screwdrivers and we need a drill as well so basically this bit rivets onto the van this bit using this bit of double-sided tape sticks onto the original corner piece on the back corner of the van. So like I say, you're not gonna get anything painted. You essentially just remove this, trim this a bit. We're doing this side, um, stick it all together and that hinges on. And when you buy the kit, you do get, there's a QR code on the box, which has got full detailed instructions explaining every single step. Um, Transport HQ have also done a video on um, explaining how to fit and what to do. I'll do my best to explain and show what's going on as we're doing it. Um, but what I've, first thing I've done is we've mounted the hinges on. And now if you look in the instructions, you've got these two little indents in them bits. Them two want to be at the front. The one with more angles on goes to the inside. It makes sense when you've got it in front of you. They fix onto there with those bolts. This other piece in there will eventually bolt on to there as well. And then you use these little small black self-tapping screws to screw that onto that piece. So first thing we need to do is remove the rear light. You've got two screws, one at the top, one at the bottom here. Once they're undone, knock the light out to the side of the van and then disconnect the cable. And then I mentioned in a previous video, we hadn't fixed this in place because we knew we were going to take in this out. Light is off and we've now removed this corner piece and we've removed the piece that fixes to the van that mounts it to. Now, looking through the instructions, the T6 lower corner pieces are different and mount in a different way to the T5 ones. So from what I can gather looking on and through the instructions, the T6 ones don't have this bit the t6 ones only have this panel which has some clip holes in instead of using this so the instructions are different to this so i think we've got to remove whoop, this inner bit here that my thumbs on the top and the bottom look pretty similar and i think we've then got to remove those little bits sticking up there Either that or I'm just going to completely ruin this panel and make it not work. But I think what we're going to do first is we'll get this bit mounted to the van. Just check that that is going to fit. And then we should be able to make this other bit work. Right, so we'll fit this piece now, which is all contoured to the shape of the van down here. And if you push it in place, sort of hold it, it will naturally sit where it wants to sit. I want to then mark the centres.
Then you drill them out to five mil, and I'm just gonna check everything lines up before we go any further. Then, then, that one's in, yeah, so, they're in, feel, okay. Right, so we've primed those now with a bit of uh, sort of anti-rust paint. Um, I'm not going to need windscreen primer that Transport HQ say to use. Um, that is on, and then what we're going to do is use some of their, um, this is what they use for bonding spoilers on. We've got a little bit left, so I'll put a blob around where the rivets go. I'm going to put a blob around where these bolt holes are from where we've converted it from doors to tailgate as well just to make sure it's all sealed from the elements. Put that there. That should be good. And now we can off this up with the rivets, get riveted on. There we go, that is that piece riveted on and those hinge bits working. So now we've got that bit on, we need to look at modifying this piece. So in the instructions, it doesn't say anything about removing these tabs or these tabs. Like I say, I think that is because the T6 ones are slightly different, but looking at this, that's the outside edge of the van. That's the bit that the hinge mounts to. That piece sits in there like that that bit has got to touch that bit. So I think we've got to cut all of that bit out in there. These need to come off to sort of neaten it up. These at the bottom need to come off, which I think you cut basically to that mold line. And then at the top, we cut all of that lip off there as well, I think. So, don't know, let's give it a go. It'll either work or we'll ruin it. And there we go, that is that trimmed up. So we've removed the bottom lip, we've removed the top lip, We've removed the fixings from down here and we've removed the fixings from down here. Now, yes, when that is on the van and you open it, you're going to see this edge. I'm not really worried about it because we're going to get end up painting bits anyway. So for now, it will do. So what we need to do now is fit this 3D printed, printed piece in there using that double-sided tape. So in the instructions, it tells you to stick the double-sided tape onto the 3D printed piece first. We've already cleaned the inside of this with some cleaner, so we'll stick this into here. Just offer it in again, make sure it looks like it's going to work. Right, so get that stuck on. Didn't tell you to do this in the instructions, but because it's for a T6 and not a T5, the fitment's ever so slightly different, so I'm just going to put a very thin bead of adhesive around the edge just to help stick it. Just a piece of mind. There we go. That is that piece fitted. So what I need to look at now is fitting the hinge part onto the hinge that is on the van. And there's that bit on, hinge is on doing what it needs to do so let's offer the panel on mark it and get the panel fixed up so this is probably the most difficult part of it each van's slightly different so the hinge doesn't come mounted to the panel you have to do that yourself what you have to do is basically hold the panel up get it lined up in about the right place get the gaps okay mark it then you have to use this self-tapping screws that are provided in the kit to screw it all together and then now I'm fitting the magnetic catch, which is pretty much the same thing. It doesn't come fitted because each van's slightly different. Offer it up, work your gap out, screw some holes, screw it on.
Lights all back on, panel is on, all sitting in the right place. And now, come around here, put your finger in that hole, pull it open. We've got space to put the electric hook up, which I've just literally just ordered, so that'll be a job for us to do next week. Um, but it's on, panel opens, close the panel back up, like that. Magnet holds it in place, tailgate. There we go, panel is on, and you'd never know that your electric hook up, hook up was behind that. So that's another job ticked off the list. Massive thank you to Transport HQ for supplying me with that. Next time you order anything from Transport HQ, make sure you use the code CHAMBERS5 to get yourself 5% off your order. So that isn't meant, or it wasn't necessarily designed for the T5, it was designed for the T6. And thinking about it now, yeah, the bottom T6 panels are completely different shape, angle, all sorts. But with a little bit of thinking and a little bit of looking at what you're doing, you can make it fit and work on a T5. So that is that video over and done with, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, maybe even learned something. Until next time, guys, enjoy.